well, I'll uh, take it all the way back to uh, when I first joined the school. I had a, uh, a lot of problems behaviour-wise. I had had 292 mm. detentions on top of refusing to come in into school and then it getting excluded. Mm. Altogether, I've probably missed about 400 lessons right. throughout my whole time at school. People don't just misbehave because of misbehaving. There's mm. always mm. an underlying issue. Mm. And when you find that issue, it makes it a lot easier to deal with. So for my case, mm. it turned out that some of the stuff I was doing was because of my autism, which mm. the school helped me find out. In a time where I needed to feel better about myself, yeah. about the way I was acting and weren't eating properly and all stuff like that, just knowing that I had some people that mm. were higher up to fall back on mm. when I felt hard done by or felt like some weren't going right. It just gave me the sense of that I weren't in it alone. Mm. Whereas a lot of time throughout the school, I felt like it was just me versus mm. the teachers. Mm. I felt more disciplined. As in like, although it was just work, the way I had to structure my work right. allowed me to give structure to my own life. Mm. So I saw that it was working intellectually. Mm. So I was like, can this work for me just in general? But performance learning actually helped me a great deal with being able to cope with the pressures of the GCSEs. And the people that are going through their exams and are about to do their exams and they're panicking and stressing out and everything because they don't feel like anything's sticking in their head. I would put forward performance learning to them. I would say, try this because it, like, like I've been saying, it gave me structure, it helped me discipline-wise, it helped me eat better, it helped me sleep better. All these factors that have been proven to help you study, it did for me. In year 11, so a year after ripping up my papers in maths, I got to my mocks, just be the mocks just before the final exams, done my maths, got an E. Right. Two months later was the actual exams. Now, this is where I put performance learning in like full force. This is where the only thing I did mm. was performance learning. And I managed to, like there's a lot of key terms that we had to memorise and uh, a lot of formulas. And I'd kind of done it in the style of performance learning, like I adapted it for maths. Although we were taught it specifically for science at the time, I adapted it to be able to do mathematic problems and like, circle theorems and all stuff like that and uh, within two months I went from an E and I ended up getting an A in maths. Phoned my mum straight away, I was like, mum, you're never going to guess what, I got an A in maths. She, uh, my, my dad, who he ain't an emotional guy, he, he, he almost broke down in tears. I saw, I saw some, uh, some forming in his eye because it, they were just so proud of me and I was so proud of myself. I felt like I'd accomplished some of that. That's all I ever wanted it was to be, to make them proud. Mm. And for me personally, that's the biggest sense of achievement for me.